what kind of things do you put on your power bins or are they mostly useful? Because I saw you use them, but I don't know what you put in them. Yeah, I'll go over my power bins. Here, this is the main stuff. And then I like separated into a couple of things. So edit page pack, mainly all that stuff. And then I have like something else, something else I added. And that's that's basically my, my product. I got, this is my main section of the power bin. What else do I have here? Uh, this is like common stuff I usually have. Like maybe like a 1080 crop or some bars or some old old presets I had. And this is like the early version of the edit page pack. That's not supposed to be there. I'll put my CCs in there as well. And then any anything that fast I need to add really. really to an adjustment clip here. Okay. I have my CC collection. I got a bunch of logos that I had for like groups or like my own logos here. Shakes. I have a bunch of different shake presets that I just saved in here and I went in there and reorganized them all and stuff. So I have them here. If I want to like have specific shakes or specifically different ones, then I have adjustment clips, one framer, uh, my test footage. What is this? Oh, this is like old stuff. I have I just, I'm just storing it in, in, in there. I don't want to like delete it. Footage, more test footage. And this is like my YouTube in. So I got my subtitle in here. This is like all my thumbnails I, I have are are here. Snap captions. So I just dragged that into to my main thing. This stuff I have my, on my old drive. Music for my videos. The tutorial presets that I have for like showing a thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner or uh, zooming in to a certain section of the screen. Stuff like that I have, I have saved in here. And then this is like the other stuff I've been doing, like the, the content editing. This is like some presets I have for there. That's, that's, that's mainly it. I go into the color tab, blur, increase the radius. What the heck, man? Where'd you say to go? Color tab, blur, increase, then radius. I don't even know where that is. Blur, blur, blur. What is this? What do you mean? Put it down? Oh my God. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a bit much. It is sharper. What, like 35? No, that's too much. I like a slight increase. I don't like, it's a little bit more clear. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it. You just change the apply mode without opening the drop menu? Yeah. So if you just like click the control and then hit the down arrow, you can scroll through all the different apply modes. And you can do that for like a bunch of controls. Like if you tap on like a control here and you hit down, it like increases it down by like a certain amount or whatever. I, I like changing it like that instead of going over and typing out the number. How are you doing the depth blur with the depth blur node? So basically depth blur and then let's put our scene here. And then I have a background node with some sort of map. Read like this or like this. And then I could Put that into the the blur image part i think yeah blur image go to the depth blur and then turn that filter to super soften blur the channel we're going to use the limit channel that's going to be reading this and then crank the up and then make sure you have that position to where you want this so that'll be there and then let's put this like closer here so it makes everything more blurry there so yeah you can see kind of that a little too much we can do something like that but this runs super laggy or this runs super laggy but that's that's the way because then it kind of builds up gradually and does it uh the very blur is much better but it's laggier so you stay in fusion and open the, up the clips from the top that's true i just have all these adjustment layers on there as well and i think those are going to be interrupted yeah it interrupts all well no you're right it, it's all compound clips i thought the adjustment clips would be in here interesting that it's not i have it enabled and then show it it doesn't show up oh that's nice we're finding we're finding stuff on stream the shake is a macro u setup yeah so it's basically a bunch of anim curves set up to the x the y the scale and the rotation all on the the original transform node these are all user controls that are connected via just like right clicking and saying connect this to this this control and so as you can see when i look through like all this my spline there doesn't show like oh this expression is to this this expression is to this and it's like more cleaner and i can click on any of, the, any of these ones and move the, the actual graph it's, it's a lot nicer the only problem is it's only connected on the first frame and so every change you have to make i have to go back to the first frame and adjust it and then go back and then you can play it back so it's a bit of the pain in the butt but i think has those values connected it doesn't have like the same playback as when you have a bunch of expressions on it so i think it's faster but i don't know am i smart i hate okay every time since i open the spine panel now it always goes across the screen and then when i fix it i, go, I try and put it back here and then make it like nice and then close it and I open it again. Okay, you're not gonna do it now. Okay, you see how it's like getting bigger and bigger? What the heck is this about? Why does it keep getting bigger? Somebody answer that for me. That is the dumbest thing. And also like being before like the 18 update, you could do an adjustment and then click the side here and then it'll deselect the control and then you can play it back nicely. But now, no, you can't hit anywhere over here. You have to click off the panel in order to deselect it. How dumb as hell is that? Whatever. I'll just add to my complaints and lazy artists and um, Ryan Osborne's video, you know?